हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल ऑन इंजीनियरिंग मैथमेटिक्स दिस वीडियो इज कंटिन्यूएशन ऑफ माय प्रीवियस वीडियो इन विच वी सॉल्व सेवरल इंटीग्रल्स विद द हेल्प ऑफ बीटा फंक्शन हियर आल्सो वी विल सी सम मोर एग्जांपल्स दैट कैन बी सॉल्व यूजिंग बीटा फंक्शन लेटस फर्स्ट रिवाइज सेवरल डेफिनेशन ऑफ बीटा फंक्शन वी डिफाइन फॉर एम कॉमा एन ग्रेटर दैन जीरो beta of mn as an integral of x raise to m minus 1 into 1 minus x raise to n minus 1 dx over the limit 0 to 1 in short beta of mn is equal to this integral we call this definition as first form of beta of m comma n if we substitute x is equal to sin square theta in this form we will get the second form of beta function which is given by following statement integral of sin raise to p theta into cos raise to q theta d theta over the limit 0 to pi by 2 is equal to half beta of p plus 1 by 2 comma q plus 1 by 2 similarly third form of beta function is given by integral of x raise to m minus 1 upon 1 plus x raise to m plus n dx over the limit 0 to infinity in my last video we saw examples of integrals that can be solved using this first definition of beta of m comma n now in this session we will see examples of integrals that can be solved using this second form as well as the third form so let's go ahead with examples in this example we are asked to evaluate integration of cos raise to 6 3 theta into sin square 6 theta d theta over the limit 0 to pi by 6 first we label this integral as i and since integrand consist of trigonometric functions we recall second form of beta function which is integral of sin raise to p theta cos raise to q theta d theta over the limit 0 to pi by 2 is equal to half beta p plus 1 by 2 comma q plus 1 by 2 and now we compare this integral i with this integral here angle of sin is 6 theta whereas here angle of sin is theta similarly here angle of cosine is 3 theta whereas here angle of cosine is theta so we have to choose a suitable substitution which will transform this integral into this form so here you can see that the suitable substitution is 3 theta is equal to t therefore theta is equal to t by 3 and d theta is equal to dt by 3 now let's find limits for t when theta is 0 t will also become 0 similarly when theta is pi by 6 t will be pi by 2 now let's transform this integral i from theta to t so i will become integral of cos raise to 6 t into sin square 2 t into dt by 3 over the limit 0 to pi by 2 this sin 2t can be written as 2 sin t cos t since there is a square this 2 sin t cos t will also have a square now we simplify this by taking out all constants we already have taken this 1 by 3 outside now let's take out this 2 square so we have 2 square by 3 outside inside the integral we'll have cos raise to 60 into cos square t that is cos raise to 8t into sin square t dt now by definition of this beta function we can write this integral as half beta of p plus 1 by 2 comma q plus 1 by 2 since p is 2 p plus 1 by 2 is 3 by 2 and q is 8 q plus 1 by 2 is 9 by 2 since beta of mn is equal to beta of nm if we change the order of p plus 1 by 2 and q plus 1 by 2 still the answer is correct so we have 4 by 3 into half beta of 9 by 2 comma 3 by 2 as the answer of the given integral i hope you understood this answer let's go ahead for next example of similar kind Here we are asked to evaluate integral of sin square theta into one plus cos theta whole raise to four d theta over the limit zero to pi. First, we label this integral as i, and we try to simplify this integrand with the help of trigonometric identities. 
first we write this sin square theta as 2 sin theta by 2 into cos theta by 2 whole square and 1 plus cos theta as 2 cos square theta by 2. Now let us take out the constant terms. Here constants are 2 square into 2 raised to 4 that is 2 raised to 6 integral of sin square theta by 2 into cos square theta by 2 into cos raised to 8 theta by 2 that is cos raised to 10 theta by 2 d theta. Now we recall second form of beta function and then we compare this integral with the integral in this definition. So we see that we can transform this integral into this by using substitution theta by 2 is equal to t. Therefore, theta is equal to 2t and d theta is equal to 2dt. Now, let us check limits for t. When theta is 0, t is also 0. When theta is pi, t is pi by 2. Now, let us transform this integral i. i will be equal to 2 raised to 6 into integral from 0 to pi by 2 of sin square t into cos raised to 10 t into 2 dt. Let us take out this 2. So, this will become 2 raised to 7 into integral of sin square t into cos raised to 10 t dt over the limit 0 to pi by 2. And by this definition of second form of beta function, we can write this integral as half beta of 2 plus 1 by 2 comma 10 plus 1 by 2 that is half beta of 3 by 2 comma 11 by 2 that half and one of the degree of 2 will get cancelled so constant term becomes 2 raised to 6 this is the answer of the integral i hope you understood every step of this answer now let us go ahead for next example here we are asked to evaluate integral of cos cube 2 theta into sin square 4 theta d theta over the limit 0 to pi by 4. As usual, we first label it as i. Then we compare this integral with the integral in the second form of beta function. We found that the suitable substitution here is 2 theta is equal to t. That is theta is equal to t by 2 and d theta is equal to dt by 2. Let us see what will be the limits for t. When theta is 0, t will be 0. Similarly, when theta is pi by 4, t will be pi by 2. Now, let us transform this integral i. This integral i will now become integral from 0 to pi by 2 into cos cube t into sin square 2t into dt by 2 that by 2 I wrote over here. Now let us take out the constant and simplify this integrand. So we have cos cube t as it is. This sin square 2t can be written as 2 sin t cos t whole square into dt. Taking out this constant terms we have 2 square upon 2 into integral from 0 to pi by 2 of cos cube t into cos square t that is cos raised to 5t into sin square t dt. Now by definition of second form of beta function we can write the value of this integral as half beta of 5 plus 1 by 2 comma 2 plus 1 by 2. This 2 square by 2 is just 2 into half beta of 5 plus 1 that is 6 by 2 comma 3 by 2. So this is value of the given integral. Let us see another example. Well, here we are asked to evaluate integral from 0 to infinity of root x upon 1 plus 2x plus x square dx. First, we label this integral as i. Then we simplify this integrand as x raised to half upon 1 plus x square dx. Now at this point, I would like to recall third form of beta function which is given as beta of mn is equal to integral of x raised to m minus 1 upon 1 plus x raised to m plus n over the limit 0 to infinity. 
now we compare this integral and this integral we see that value of m is half plus 1 that is 3 by 2 and value of n is 2 minus 3 by 2 that is just half then value of this given integral is beta of mn that is beta of 3 by 2 comma 1 by 2 i hope you understood answer of this integral let me show you similar example here we are asked to evaluate integral of x raised to 5 into 1 plus x raised to 4 upon 1 plus x raised to 16 dx over the limit 0 to infinity first we label this integral as i then we split this numerator over the denominator in this way now we recall third form of beta function and we compare it with these two integrals so we see value of this integral is beta of 5 plus 1 that is 6 comma m plus n minus m that is 16 minus 6 that is 10 plus beta of 9 plus 1 that is 10 comma 16 minus 10 that is 6 and since beta of mn is same as beta of nm this beta of 6 comma 10 is same as beta of 10 comma 6 this can be written as twice beta of 6 comma 10 now let us see some more examples here we are asked to evaluate integral of x square upon 1 plus x raised to 6 raised to 5 by 2 dx over the limit 0 to infinity since in the denominator we do not have term of the type 1 plus x this example cannot be solved using third form of beta function so to solve this first we label it as i then we put this x cube as tan theta so when i put x cube is equal to tan theta over here we'll have 1 plus tan square theta here which later can be written as sec square theta after differentiating both sides we have 3x square dx is equal to sec square theta d theta now let us see limits for theta when we substitute x is equal to 0 here we see theta will also be equal to 0 and when we substitute x is equal to infinity in this we see theta is equal to pi by 2 now let's transform this integral i now this integral i can be written as integral from 0 to pi by 2 of x square dx is sec square theta by 3 into d theta that 1 by 3 is written outside 1 plus x raised to 6 is 1 plus tan square theta raised to 5 by 2 as it is now we write 1 plus tan square theta as sec square theta now this square and 1 by 2 will get cancelled in the denominator we will be left with sec raised to 5 theta now this sec square and this 5 will get cancelled we will have 1 by sec cube theta in the integrand but we know that 1 by sec theta is cos theta so this integrand can be written as cos cube theta d theta now since there is no sign term in this integrand we can write sign term with degree 0 like this and now we recall definition of second form of beta function and by that definition we can write the value of this integral as half beta of p plus 1 by 2 that is half comma q plus 1 by 2 that is 3 plus 1 4 by 2 this 1 by 3 into 1 by 2 is 1 by 6 into beta of half comma 4 by 2 is the solution to the given integral i hope you understood this solution in my next video we will see some more example of the similar kind till then thank you all of you thank you for watching this video please subscribe my youtube channel and press the bell icon to get updates about my new videos